Hello, it's Lord Slar here, coming to you with some Doctor Who news. Uh, it was just released today, and it's about the Series 10 writers. So we've had some information on this area before, uh, but we've got a little more now, and I'm just going to kind of talk about it all in general, just to give my thoughts on it. The first important bit is, if you remember about a month ago, Moffat said that there was going to be a classic Series writer coming back to write for New Who, which I was pretty excited about, and I thought it was going to be Mark Platt, considering he wrote for the classic series, he's wrote so many successful Big Finish stories and Peter Capaldi went with the Mondasian side men back and who better to write that than the person who wrote Spare Parts and the Silver Turk which are well loved episodes by the community you know that I thought that would just work but it turns out I'm wrong and his choices actually come quite off left field to be perfectly honest. So the writer who's going to be writing for series 10 from the classic series is Rona Munro who wrote Survival the final classic episode. I'm honestly not too infused about this I mean she could be good, she could be bad. We don't really know enough about her, in my opinion. As for Survival, it was an okay episode. Episode 1 started off good, it got really good in Episode 2, then Episode 3 was just a dull mess. It had a lot of stupid moments, and quite frankly, I really didn't enjoy that episode, and it really hampers my enjoyment of the story whenever I watch it. But, you know, you can never judge a writer based off one story, because a whole number of factors could have went wrong. It's only when they've written a few stories where you can kind of judge, yeah they're not a good writer, or, yeah, they're a good writer, so I don't think it, I feel it's fair to judge, I just, I'm not particularly infused by this, because I don't know Rona Munro that well, she hasn't proved herself to me as a writer yet, whereas somebody like Mark Platt, or Bob Baker, or Terence Dix, which, you know, were a lot of names which people were throwing around about who it could be, they have proved themselves as writers, and I would be a little more infused for them, especially Mark Platt, I was really hoping it was Mark Platt, but oh well, we've got Rona Munro, and we'll see how it goes. I like the name of the episode that they've announced that she's writing called The Eaters of Light. It sounds like a very classic series name, and you know, who knows, it could be a good story, it could be a bad story, we'll have to wait and see really. The other writer who's been announced is Jamie Matheson, who wrote Mummy on the Orient Express and Flatline in Series 8, and co-wrote The Girl Who Died in Series 9. So I was really sad he didn't get a story by himself in Series 9, because his two stories in Series 8 were really, really good. I mean, there weren't anything I'd say that were particularly special, it was just really fresh. It, it felt like for two weeks Doctor Who had come on form again. Those were really exciting two weeks in Series 8, I absolutely loved them. And I felt Jamie Matheson was just exactly what Doctor Who needed. So the last thing we wanted is in Series 9 to have him held back in Muffat in that way. To have to co-write something with him and it not being of a very high quality. I really didn't enjoy The Girl Who Died and it's a real shame. So I'm glad he's getting another chance to shine here. Unfortunately, the episode name hasn't been released yet. Not that that means anything, but, you know, I could still give my thoughts on that for whatever value that's worth, which isn't really much as it's just a name. So while we're on the subject, I feel like we may as well look at the other writers who have already been announced for Series 10. The first one is Frank Cottrell Boyce. I don't have bunch of his name there, but whatever. Yeah, so a lot of people are really angry about him being in, like being a writer for Series 10, because he wrote uh, Into the Forest of Night previously, which was a shit episode. But barely anybody liked it. It was a terrible episode, and I'm not going to deny that. However, I feel like people really aren't being fair to the man. Because, as I said earlier about Rona Munro... One story, uh, one episode, isn't enough to be able to judge a writer on their writing ability. We need to see more from this man before we can say, yes, he shouldn't write for Doctor Who anymore, or yes, he should write for Doctor Who more. Because that would just be unfair. I mean, take for Stephen Thompson, for example. I hated his Series 6 episode, but I didn't just instantly write there, go, no, I don't want Stephen Thompson writing for Doctor Who again. Once it had got to his second and third episode, them being uh, Journey to the Center of the TARDIS and Time Heist, I slowly realised, yes, we've seen his writing ability. I don't want him writing for Doctor Who anymore because he's terrible. On the other side of the coin, we had Robert Holmes, who wrote his first two episodes, even though I kind of like the Crotons and the Space Pirates, and I don't love them, but I think they're decent stories. Most people hate them. However, after writing those two stories, which is generally disliked, he went on to write some of the best stories, you know, the show's ever seen. So I think it's fair to give people a little bit more of a chance than just instantly dismiss them because they wrote one really bad episode once. I think that's being a little bit harsh. So what's the best cheer? Give Frank a chance. Let him see see if he can write something good. If he doesn't do good, uh, you know, this time, maybe you can start to say something then. 
But it depends if it's the same kind of mistakes he made in the previous one. If he's making different mistakes, then maybe you should get another chance after this one. I don't know. It's purely subjective. But give, give good old Frank a chance. Come on, guys. So next is Sarah Dullard, who wrote Face the Raven last season. And I think she also wrote some Torchwood, although I'm... I don't think I can even remember whatever she wrote for Torchwood at all, so I can't really talk about that. So, Face the Raven was a pretty good story. I mean, it had a lot of flaws, and it's not something I'd really jump to rewatch, but whatever. It had some good ideas, and it had some good intentions, and if it had more time to kind of express itself, I feel like we could have had a really good story there, but again, it's another victim of the 45 minute format. I really liked how Clara's death was done in that story as well. It was nice and low key and not over the top as I was expecting, which was good. And uh, it was also quite powerful in that, in that regard. It's just a shame it's been completely ruined by Hell Bent. But either way, it proves that Sarah Dollard is perfectly capable of writing. So maybe even though she's still only working with the 45 minute format, maybe she can make something good out of this now that she's had experience with it and knows that because it's such a restraining format, she can't overstretch the stories. But if you come up with an idea as good as the Trap Street one, then go on, bring it on. I want to see you do something good, Sarah. So the next writer is Mike Barlett. So I looked through his Wikipedia page and I recognise absolutely nothing that he's done. And to be honest, I'm quite pleased about that. I'm glad we're bringing in somebody who's completely new to Doctor Who. A writer we have not seen on the show or any similar shows before. It's, it's good to see some new blood and well done with that. And hopefully you'll bring in some more new writers to do uh, series 10 because sometimes you just need a bit of new blood especially with how stale the show is at the moment you really need some new ideas to be going around uh, so yeah so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed me talking about something i might not usually talk about this but i've enjoyed doing that too as for the writers for series 10 are they infusing me for it not particularly, no, but I'm willing to give them all a chance. I mean, Muffat, you know, he could surprise me and do something good, but I think his scripts are probably going to be subpar. It's it's pretty likely. I don't know, maybe he will do well in the end, but that's the only person I'm really going to judge, and I'm really looking forward to seeing a new, another Matheson script, as, you know, I really enjoyed his Series 8 ones. As for the others, I hope they do well. I want to see them do well, because I really do want to like New Who. I, I'm not just a mindless new Who here. I really do want to like Doctor Who, which is fresh off the table, which I haven't experienced before. But it just doesn't do it for me most of the time, unfortunately. And, well, I, I think I've been pretty fair in this video. Fairer than a lot of people who are just dismissing people like Frank Cottrell Boyce. But, oh well, uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you back next time in another video.